founder of Christ Maserand Ministry, Prophet Jeremiah Fofain on Sunday reacted to the criminal investigation being carried out by the National Agency for Food and Drug Administration and Control, NAFTA over miracle soap and other items he was accused of selling to unsuspecting members of the public with the claim that the products were registered and approved by NAFTA. Prophet Jeremiah said he never used the name of NAFTA to deceive any member of the public. Adding that he was given less than 12 hours to appear before the NAFTA office in Asaba and as a result of the short notice, he wrote to the regulatory agency twice to make his position known to them on the issues. According to Vanguard newspaper, Prophet Fufain spoke through his church's media outfit called Maslan Television Deliverance Ministry, which issued a statement signed by Sophia Eloyd, faulting a media report by one of the national dailies online, with caption, NAFTAC investigating Pastor Jeremiah Miracle Water, Soap DG, pointing out that the publication was false. According to the statement, Christ Mercy Land Deliverance Ministry is a law-abiding Christian church and recognizes the extant laws of the land and even the NAFTAC Act in this regard. And as a Christian association, we are guided by Section 39 and 38 of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, that guarantees all Christians and our church the right to freedom of religion without interference whatsoever in this regard. It is sequel to that, as a church we have been operating and guided by the tenets of our faith and biblical injunctions in the Holy Bible in this regard. We have been using certain spiritual items in expression of our religious beliefs. The statement also asserted that the newspaper via online publication, in the course of their story also stated and alleged that NAFTAC wishes to alert the general public on the activities of the church and the church uses NAFTAC name to deceive unsuspecting public. We wish to state that at no point our church has ever deceived or dishonestly deceived any members of the general public. All the church has done in the entirety of this issue is the church right to expression of religion through the use of spiritual items. The church has never even produced or sell to members of the public consumable items in this regard. We also wish to state that Senior Prophet Jeremiah Fufain of Christ Muslim Ministry has never used the NAFTAC name as an agency to deceive innocent members of the public. However, as part of putting the record straight as rebuttal of the online news publication, the statement pointed, we wish to state that Christ Muslim Deliverance Ministry was fully aware that the only pending petition against our church is the one by Mr. Martins Vincent O'Shea, alias Verdan Blackman, who the church has since sued before the FCT High Court on sundry allegations and matters. However, the church was in receipt of a letter dated the 27th of August 2024 from NAFTAC office extending an invitation to the spiritual health of the church on the church miracle and healing spiritual item by the NAFTAC Asaba office with the full designation as referenced in this letter. It's quite unfortunate that as a law-abiding organization, we did officially as an organization wrote to NAFTAC headquarters office, Abuja on the short less than 12 hour time frame given to us to appear and by an official letter communicated our position in this matter to NAFDAQ and then also sent another subsequent letter to NAFDAQ. We also bring to the fore and knowledge of NAFDAQ that the supposed nominal complainant to NAFDAQ Asaba office actually forged the church's receipts in order to close himself with the right to bring a complaint before the NAFDAQ office in this. Regard, we also wish to state that presently there is an ongoing police investigation of certain receipts that has indicted the nominal complainant to NAFTAC office, which same receipts is presumed to have been forged and used falsely in procuring the now investigated spiritual items by NAFTAC office. More so it should be noted that the alleged spiritual item sells receipts of the nominal complainant to NAFTAC in which he purportedly alleged to have used in evidencing a case in NAFTAC office. A look at them revealed that the position of the spiritual item's receipt number are the same but different in other particulars with that normally issued by the church accounting office in the sense that vis-a-vis. -vis. That the nominal complainant's receipts are different from the position in the actual receipt booklet and receipts in the custody of the church. The deaths on the receipt are clearly and obviously altered different from church client official receipts. All these issues and narratives as stated above, 
The church runs to the NAFDAQ office and we clearly wish to state that NAFDAQ till today never wrote to the church or gave feedback on these issues to the church or our legal representative, the church media stated. We had reported that the National Agency for Food and Drug Administration and Control, NAFDAQ on Sunday said it has begun investigation into alleged act of criminality against Prophet Jeremiah Omoto Fufain of Christ Muslim Deliverance Ministry, CMDM over soap and other miracle products sold to unsuspecting members of the public, claiming the products were registered and approved by NAFDAQ. NAFTAC in a statement said the church is currently not cooperating with them in the course of their investigation. According to the regulatory body, the church has failed to honor their invitation but decided to issue a legal document claiming they got the NAFTAC approval indirectly from another business the church is into partnership with. NAFTAC in the statement warned the general public to stop buying the products, saying, it never registered the products. The products listed include Miracle and Healing Water, River Jordan Water, and the Miracle Water from the Pool of Bethsaida. This was contained in a statement by the agency's resident media consultant, Olusayo Akintola, in Abuja on Sunday. According to Akintola, Omoto is operating with Christ Mercy Land Delivery Ministries, KM5, Efurun, Sapele Road, Delta State. He said that the suspect was selling miracle water, miracle soap, and other unregistered products to unsuspected Nigerians, claiming that they were all NAFDAQ approved. He said that NAFDAQ got the hint through a series of petitions from concerned citizens about Omoto. He said that the miracle water and soap were advertised to have healing capacity and NAFDAQ certification. The suspect showcased the use of the miracle water and miracle soap on social media. He claimed that they had the capacity to heal barrenness and that women who used both products would be pregnant with twins. He openly told his congregation that the soap is NAFDAQ registered, which attracted the public to begin to make efforts to verify the claim, he said. Akintola said that petitioners also submitted some of the products from the church to NAFDAQ for verification. He listed the products to include Miracle and Healing Water, River Jordan Water, and the Miracle Water from the Pool of Bethsaida. Others are a New Beginning Mountain Camel Miracle Water, Water of Life Miracle Water from the Pool of Bethsaida and Father Smell Perfume. He said that upon receipt of the petitions, NAFDAQ, through its Director of Post Marketing Surveillance, PMS, contacted the Delta State Coordinator to verify the existence of the church. The State Coordinator was also directed to take necessary regulatory action on the production facility in the church where the Miracle Water and other products were produced. He covertly bought the Miracle Water, 25 centiliters, for 3,000 naira from the church and took pictures of other products, he said. The NAFDAQ media consultant said that on visiting the church, subsequently, the team met the head of service, HOS Oguleye Fufein, and the chief security officer, CSO. He said that officials of the church denied producing miracle and healing water or soap, even with the evidence of the receipt of purchase. On August 27, a team of investigators and enforcement team of NAFDAQ, along with a federal task force on counterfeit and unwholesome foods, visited the church to commence an investigation. Officials of the church did not cooperate with the team, which prompted the issuing of a letter of invitation for them to report at the NAFDAQ office in Asaba for further investigation, but it was not honored. Instead of honoring the invitation, they submitted a legal document at NAFDAQ headquarters in Abuja on August 28th, he said. Akintola said that a document made available to NAFDAQ on September 3, 2024, claimed that the church entered a production agreement with one global table water without the knowledge of NAFDAQ. He said that the act was illegal according to the extant rules and regulations on commercial production. He said that the NAFDAQ investigation and enforcement team had sealed Global Table Water. He said that the factory was sealed for adding and abating the production, sale, 
an advertisement of unregistered and unwholesome miracle water with a fake NAFDAQ registration number. NAFDAQ wishes to inform the public that none of those products being advertised and sold are registered with NAFDAQ. The public is also advised to stop patronizing any of those products. NAFDAQ is a scientific organization that is guided by verifiable facts before registering any product. In the meantime, we will continue with our investigation into the activities of this first organization, he said. We had in the month of August reported that High Court sitting in Abuja has adjourned till September this month for Martins Vincent O'Shea aka Veridakman who identified himself as online police and prophet Jeremiah Omoto Fufain of Christ Muslim Deliverance Ministry, CMDM to begin legal argument over a soap set to be approved by National Agency for Food and Drug Administration and Control, NAFDAQ which allegedly has the efficacy to kill people's suffering. On June 28, 2024, Prophet Jeremiah in a video comment on his verified Instagram page discussed the importance of a soap he described as a miracle soap. The Prophet spoke in a logical manner while advertising the soap and as at August 20, 2024 when we downloaded the video, some parts of the video has poor sound quality, preventing us from getting some other statements he made in the video. Some parts the video has good sound quality. Prophet Jeremiah talked about the importance of the soap and mentioned suffering, failure, disappointment and how the soap can be used to wash off body odor with prayers to God Almighty from him. On July 17, 2024, Veridakman in a video commentary on his verified Instagram page, played a video from his mobile phone, in which, Prophet Jeremiah said the miracle soap has not that number, adding, he wondered why people are suffering. According to the prophet in the video, the soap is manufactured by a company but he needs to pray for the soap to work its wonders with the user having faith. Verindakman reacted and some parts of what he said reads thus, Navdak, I will come to your office later to drop a petition, you must tell us the ingredients to use in. Making soap that kills suffering since he is saying you approved it. As a pastor that claimed God called him, you are selling powers that God gave you for free to your members. Nafta prepare you, since you all went out, to be part of your things. Veridakman on August 9, 2024 posted a video and said, Last one before we go court. Person sue me one billion, who, N.A. say make I no gather evidence, N.A. so, who, N.A. they do for here. Anything you buy you no need faith, if I buy Panadol, do I need faith for it to kill headache? So why I go need faith for miracle water when I use money buy? Upon all you no know, get laughed up. In another video post, Veridakman said, so, based on court, I can't talk about Pastor Jeremiah anymore. And now to Navdak, I am giving you guys two days to put up a disclaimer on this whole soap saga or else we will all swim inside the potopoto of this grace. Navdak do the needful, it is our country, we should all seek what is good for our people. Now all eyes on Navdak, let's see if they are truly doing their jobs to protect citizens from unregistered products that might be harmful to nigerians or maybe it is by connection latest development the founder of christ muslim deliverance ministry cmdm prophet jeremiah announced that his spiritual products including pool of bethesda water and red sea water will not be sold anymore the Prophet cancelled the sales of the products after weeks of public scrutiny and pressure from social media users. Veridakman who continued to do videos of buying the products and testing the products on people who have health challenges. In numbers of videos, he questioned the legality and regulatory approval of selling the spiritual products which include miracle water, perfume, spiritual shirts, soap, mustard seed and one-shot oil. Veridakman in some of the videos he posted after he was served a lawsuit of 1 billion naira, went an extra step of testing the products on a large group of disabled individuals, but no results were observed. In the Prophet's defense on Sunday, 
He stated that the products would not be effective unless supported by a genuine love for him, according to Premium Times. During the church's August Break Program 2024 titled, Break the Limit, on day one, the prophet reversed his stance, stating that anyone selling his spiritual products would be caused. He said, I want to make it clear to you all tonight. The spiritual items are not for sale. Anybody out there selling these spiritual items to you, I will lay a curse on them because it's not for sale. Adding, users must register at CMDM to receive the spiritual items for free, which will be prayed over, stressing that proper guidance will be put in place to prevent chaos. You, users, have to go and register on the mountain, CMDM, then they, those in charge of the products, will give it to you for free. They will pray on it on the mountain, and then I, fulfilling your prophet, will tell you how to use it. You will be surprised because you are not here to taste, you already believe. Don't test it, my prayer is to believe. Don't test why we register because we want to control the crowd. Something that has no instructions or guidance is useless. We can tell everybody to rush and take the spiritual items. But no, a stampede will occur. That's why we have to guide you people to receive the blessings, and anybody out there selling them will receive a curse from me. In response, Veridagman said, I went on his page, and now, he says he is giving it for free. Papa, Prophet Fufain, even if you provide it for free, you still have to have another number, which you must provide. Veridakman while speaking, compared the sale of the products to Valuijet, a private Nigerian airline, highlighted that despite having fewer passengers than Fufain's congregation, Valuijet ensures their free water is appropriately regulated. He said, yesterday when I came from Abuja to Lagos, I used Valuijet. They don't sell products, they only give water to people inside the plane, and Valuijet Water still has a Navdak Lumba. Let alone you, Fufain, who has plenty of people sitting in your church. You must have a Navdak Lumba before you put out anything people take into their bodies or use on their skin. It's a must. Although the Prophet announced removing certain products from his church's offerings, Veridakman claims some questionable items are still on the website. He said, you, Fufain, said you don't sell anything anymore, but what is this, cash flow ATM card? EFCC should take up this case. Is it going to put cash in your account without you working? Is it that when you buy this ATM card, you slot it in, and it starts dispensing cash? I see this as fraud. Veridakman had also criticized the sales of the, I must carry my Samuel Apple, priced at $12, approximately 20,000 Nairas. He questioned the rationale behind such exorbitant prices for what is marketed as a spiritually enhanced fruit. Is it that when you eat this apple, you get pregnant and start having samuels? No matter how spiritual this is, it's too much for an apple. The self-acclaimed online police said that, the handkerchiefs priced at $2, 3,200 Nairas are still available, raising further concerns about monetization within the church. Adding that he would file a case with the Nigeria Police Force, National Cybercrime Center, and PFNCCC. Every product you produce must have a Navdak Lumba. It's not about a miracle or no miracle. I'll write a letter to the NPFNCCC. Premium Times stated that the Controversy is not new for Prophet Fufain, who has been selling and advertising faith-based products like the Red Sea Water since 2019. Checks on the church's website show that the spiritual products were also sold to people in South Africa, Namibia, Zambia, and Zimbabwe. His spiritual items have long been promoted as possessing miraculous powers, but the recent backlash spearheaded by VDM, intensified scrutiny. 
The Federal High Court in Abuja has adjourned the lawsuit between the social media user Veridakman and Prophet Jeremiah Fufain of the Deliverance Mercy Land International Ministry, Wari, Delta State. TVC News, in a report on Saturday, said Justice Uwusu Iheme, who presided over the case, adjourned it to the 6th of September for a hearing. The adjournment followed Mr. Fufain's counsel, Ihezekian Samuel, who prayed the court for an adjournment, saying he was just served with the defendant's counterclaim. It was gathered that Justice Iheme further ordered Veridagman and Mr. Fufain to maintain the status quo. The status quo injunction was issued to preserve the current state of affairs while the case progresses. TVC reported that Justice Iheme restrained Veridagman from derogatory remarks about Mr. Fufain until the latter's injunction motion was heard. Mr. Fufain requested a court order compelling Veridagman to retract the libelous publications of the 17th of July and any other defamatory content. Prophet Jeremiah sought a court order mandating Veridagman to publish an unconditional apology in at least three national newspapers within seven days of the judgment. Veridagman and Prophet Jeremiah's attorneys expressed their views on the court's legal determination. The Prophet's lawyers said, even when there was a first order for status quo, he kept coming before the social media just to harass, to defend continuously and to drag continuously and that the court ordered for status quo and restated it. So the defendant is running the risk of contempt proceedings and the committal to prison. Very dark man attorney, Ademola Adedokun, said, Martins Vincent O'Shea, who is counterclaiming 2.2 billion nairas in damages for breach of contract and deceit, also has a pending interlocutory application to also stop the Prophet Jeremiah Fufain and his church, Christ Mercy Land Deliverance Ministry, from selling any regulated products without filing the proof of certification or registration of such products. On Sunday, a video statement signed by Sophia Lloyd and posted on the Prophet's Instagram page, said that, the church's legal team had been instructed to take action against Veridagman for false allegation. According to the statement, Veridagman claimed in a recent video that the church had removed all approved spiritual items from its official website. The church dismissed these allegations as unfounded lies and cheap propaganda, emphasizing that the video was a deliberate attempt to damage the reputation of the general overseer and the church as a whole. The statement read, The management of Mercy Television has herein by this press statement refuting claims made by an online critic, Mr. Martin Vincent O'Shea, popularly known as Barry Darkman, in one of his recent video publications, O'Shea alleged that the church, under the leadership of senior prophet Jeremiah Omoto Fufain had removed all approved spiritual items from its official website. In a strong rebuttal, the management of Mercy Television labeled Oxy's claims as unfounded lies and cheap propaganda. Church stated further that the video publication was a deliberate attempt to defend their general overseer and tarnish the church's reputation. The church clarified that Oxus is not an official representative of Mercy Television or the church and has no authority to speak or act on their behalf. The management also reminded the public that all official information about the church will be communicated solely through its verified channels and urged the public to exercise caution and discernment when engaging with any further content from O'Shea. Mercy Television distanced itself from any liability or responsibility for O'Shea, as actions, statements, or publications, reaffirming its commitment to transparency and the truth. Veridakman had vowed to bring 800 deaf, 700 blind, and 36 infertile women to court to challenge the Prophet to demonstrate the efficacy of his miracle products publicly. Veridakman demanded the demonstration take place in front of a judge. The social media popular user pursued his challenge by purchasing Prophet Fufain's miracle products. He experimented with the products at an undisclosed disability home in Abuja, housing approximately 1,500 residents. Veridakman documented the process in a video, 
showing individuals with disabilities using the products without apparent miraculous effects. However, Mr. Fufain addressed his congregation during a live Sunday service and said that his spiritual products might not work for everyone except those who love him. Sasuwa Kong Nebe, bringing you the news in a more digital way.